guys, welcome to a hey Math Group. In this video, we're going to learn how to find the effective annual rate. So this is the formula to find the effective annual rate. Basically, it's going to be your annual or your APR divided by M, all this plus 1 and then elevated to the N minus 1. Let's do a couple, of, uh, a couple of examples to make this easier. So the first thing you need to remember is that when you're compounding monthly, your M is going to be 12. Quarterly, 4. Semi-annually, 2. Weekly, 52. And of course, if it's daily, 365 and so on. But these are actually like the most common compound terms that, you know, sometimes we use in finance. So let's see. Let's, let's pretend your APR is 12% and it's compound monthly. Well, you just go ahead and put the 12. Remember, I put 0.12 because you have to do it as a decimal divided by 12. And then this plus 1 and elevate it to the 12 minus 1 and you get your answer. What about if your effective rate was quarterly? The same procedure but your M, as you can see, is just 4. So once you do the math, you're going to get 12.55 also semi-annual, the M is going to be 2 because you're compounding twice a year. And finally, what's going to happen? When you have the effective annual rate, see here that monthly was 12.68, quarterly 12.55, semi-annual uh, 12.36. The more you compound, the higher your effective annual rate. Just to let you know, credit cards actually um, compound daily. So you can imagine how high the effective annual rate are on some of the credit cards and that's it please don't forget to watch our other videos also don't forget we can also skype with you and also thanks so much for learning